Hi guys. So today we have our very first toy review. So I'm really excited to start this toy review series because it's actually what fueled me to start this YouTube channel in the first place. I don't know if you guys have been to Target recently, but if you go to the toy section, there's a specific area that's dedicated to STEM toys. And I thought that was really cool. Um, I actually wanted to buy everything there and I couldn't just justify spending hundreds of dollars on toys. So I figured it would be a great opportunity to use this channel as a way for me to buy those toys, but also do reviews that you guys can view as well. So yeah, if you guys are interested in this type of content, definitely subscribe because we have a lot more videos like it coming soon. So for our very first toy review, I present to you the My Bro Super Bad Rad Robot. So up close, the robot itself looks like this. So I'll take a moment to kind of just go through what the box says and kind of all its features that it comes with. If we look on the side here, it includes four really rad accessories. Jail escape, the Supa weapon, rad blasters, and a serving tray. This is definitely my favorite part of the whole box. This guy right here says, Yo, dude, what's up? And the My Bro Super Bad Robot also says, Yo, dude, what's up? <laughs> so I thought that's pretty cool. So there's four different categories of play or functions that your robot can do. You can prank, which uh, includes tricking, pranking, and surprising your friends. <laughs> spy be sneaky and listen to the secrets of those around you it has stealth mode activation as well <laughs> serve your wish is his command and escape from jail and take over the world. <laughs> and last but not least, this is the right side of the box. As you can see, he's holding a baton of some sort. Uh, right here, it gives you a closer look of the remote itself. Uh, it has the function to provide you with gross sounds, attack sounds, evil sounds. It has a voice changer, talk mode, and a listen mode. So yeah, let's go ahead and open the box so we can see what's inside. So I removed him from the box, and this is how he looks like up close. And to the side, as you can see, he has cool conveyor belt looking shoes or wheels. And in the back, he has his on and off function. I don't know what the one and two stands for just yet, but we'll look through the instruction manual so that we know what that feature does. And that is the spy mode, stealth mode activation. So we'll go test that feature out later as well. And then up close, we have the remote controller. This is how it looks like. This particular remote controller requires three AAA batteries. I didn't show it earlier, but the MyBro Superbad Robot also requires three AAA batteries. So make sure you guys have those at hand so that you can test out your robot. Right, 
So now let's open up the rest of this accessory kit. Let's see what we have here. There you go. So I think this is the jail cell little toy that he has to try to break out of. That's how it looks like up close. His gun, which surprisingly it has some weight in it. His baton. I don't I don't know if he his arms actually move, so I don't know if he can actually swing this. And ball. I think there's supposed to be a goal of some sort, so I don't know where he's supposed to shoot this out. So final thoughts, um, in regards to the robot overall, I think it's definitely a really cool starter robot if you want something that's not too coding intensive or too techy. Um, everything is pretty much built into the remote itself, you don't have to really program it to do anything so that's really convenient. My favorite part of the robot was the accessories that it came with. The serving tray definitely is a really cool feature to have. It's super convenient, especially if you're just trying to um, move something from point A to point B and you're too lazy to walk it over there yourself. In regards to its mobility, it's really smooth actually. I was only controlling it in smooth surfaces. I haven't tried it on any rough terrain just yet. So that is something that I do want to test out and see for myself on that one. But yeah, in regards to just basic terrain, basic smooth surfaces, it moves smoothly without any complaints from me. As for the other features that it has, the spy as well as the talk over feature is I would say basic in a sense. It's not really clear when you talk over the radio, but considering the price of what you pay for it, it's a really cool feature to have. Just as a price comparison for you guys, I bought this from Target for $39.99. Um, I'm pretty sure you can probably get it in other locations for uh, roughly around that price as well. Um, so again, really cool starter robot. Um, I think this is definitely a really cool first toy to do a review on so yeah overall I give it a 7 out of 10. Alright guys if you like this video don't forget to hit that like button if you want to see more content like this in the future don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time.